this is the new Solaris glossing resin. So I'm just going to brush it on pretty much just like I did the sealer coat. Get a coat on, cross brush it, and then walk it out with the blade of the brush. But the difference with the resin is I have to let it set for oh 15 or 20 minutes because it's a lot thicker and I want to get the uh, the lines from the blade of the brush out so if the resin sits for a while it, it'll smooth out. There's, uh, there's something I want to show you that's a really important when you're using this stuff is uh, I can't demonstrate it with this because I need someone to help me carry it out but pretend this is the top or, or whatever you're doing when you're curing the resin, the first time it goes in the sun, it's a good idea to just give it, oh, two, three, four seconds, and then bring it out. Just flash it into the, the direct sun or the UV light, whatever you're using, and then bring it back in and let it rest. It starts the chemicals working that, that make it hard, but it slows it down and it makes you, you get up with a much better finish. Even doing it twice, and then bring it back a second time and let it rest. And then uh, the third time, then you can take it out and put it out in the sun and let it finish finish off. Uh, we just I just did the flashing. Uh, if you can see the resin is uh, come over here on this side. You see the resin is it's still flexible, but it started to go off. It's it's gone off, but it's not rock hard yet. It's in the B stage, which is just kind of flexible. So I'm going to take this opportunity and pull the tape. Okay, there it is, completely finished. Uh, overall, the whole process took under an hour. Solar res, uh, glossing resin, and the wood sealer. Thank you for your time.